in this video i'll show you one of the copilot feature available within microsoft edge browser to summarize the video content now in order to explain you what this entire segment is all about i will navigate to say youtube website now here i have uh, navigated to one of the channels so this is one of the channels uh, created by me now there are so many videos within this channel like 831 videos uh, till date now take for example if you want to view a specific topic so i I put a lot of video related to multiple topics and some of the videos are like 10 minutes or 20 minutes long okay now what if you do not have time to view these videos and if you want to get uh, to the crux of it without even watching the video which i would not recommend but uh, if that is the case if you're running short of time and if you want to get this information quickly how you can get those information so uh, we can pick up any video over here so take for example if uh, i pick uh, a big video so i'll just say how to show or hide button in a model driven power app so i'll just go inside this video now let this uh, a video play up so now this video is playing up and then this is like an 18 minute video now i just want to know like what does this video contain now i can just navigate further and then i can see this information but then if i want to know exactly what this video tells about then in microsoft edge i have this option uh, called as copilot so i'll just show you where this copilot button lies so this is where the copilot button lies okay so if I click on Copilot over here, let me maximize this a bit. Now here I have an option to start chatting with the Copilot. Now, the moment you click on Copilot, you will be presented with the screen. Like you can start messaging the Copilot. And here you get various options about Copilot chats, sending feedback, and then you have all these different options provided. So now let me go back to the channel home page now here i can pick up various videos now let me pick up say one of the video over here say how to use group by or auto buy uh, and then i'll click on this video now this video loads up now once this video loads up in order to summarize the content what i'm gonna do i'll click on copilot now if i click on copilot over here then here you get to see an option like summarize this video expand on this topic now i want to see what this video content is all about without even watching the video so in order to extract the gist of this video i will click on summarize this video now the moment i click on summarize this video the copilot will start triggering the internal llms and start extracting information now as you rightly see it says this video demonstrates how to use various filtering and sorting clauses in power pages liquid specifically group by order by then by where now as you see over here this is all about uh, getting information about the liquid code how to use group by order by then by now this can um, be done for any of the uh, videos now as you see over here uh, we have this uh, various summarization and it it has provided you some basic information now it has also suggested some prompt like can you explain the group by clause in more detail or how can i use these clauses in a real project now if i click on this then it will start getting this information and then it has provided you all this information now it says would you like a code snippet for a specific use case okay and then yes we can get those information as well also it has given you some more prompt what are the best practices for using these clauses now remember this is within the context of this video so if you uh, use a video of uh, uh, some different content then you will get that uh, videos uh, contextual information uh, queries and then you can start in using those information now just by not watching this video and then using copilot i'm able to get this information now it can even provide you a uh, code uh, about this uh, video as well so if there are some codes which are used in this video it will start extracting those information as well now 
Um, there are other things over here. It says, how do these clauses compare to SQL clause or what are the common mistakes to avoid with these clauses? So you can just go ahead and uh, click on it and then it will start giving you these information. Okay. Now, isn't it wonderful that without even watching a video that you are able to summarize the content? So if you just want to see one basic information from the video and if you do not want to navigate through the entire video content, you can just use Copilot. Uh, within Microsoft Edge and start summarizing the information. Now, if I click on start new chat over here, again, you come to the same topic, summarize this video and expand on this topic. So if I click on expand on this topic, it says, give me a few interesting facts related to information on this page. So here it has given me the liquid templating language, database querying, entity views in Power Pages, and then it has given me some more information. Uh, I can even type in so code to uh, use group by clause and if I just type in code to use group by clause it will start finding the information and then as you see over here it has started extracting the information so assign group cities view dot record and then you can even copy this code so if I get this code I can copy this code in visual studio code uh, I have uh, let's say Microsoft Word open I'll just show you how to uh, paste this content so as you see over here I have pasted this content over here and then this is the code now it has extracted this information um, so if you just scroll uh, within your code you will see all this information within your uh, video content as well it's 915. so so that's it folks this is how you basically uh, use uh, copilot uh, within microsoft edge to summarize the video content thanks for watching